team, Double Eagle Six, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Good morning. I want to talk to you about something we talked about on day one. It's not just about standards and discipline, although that's a big part of it. It's about treating each other with mutual respect, inclusivity, and, and an absolute sense of respecting the dignity of each and every one of your fellow soldiers. I told you then, I'll tell you again. This is an army, it's not a gang. One of my concerns as I walk around the battle space, I want to share it with everybody, I'm very concerned about the possibility that some soldiers out there are getting the message that it's okay to be members of or support extremist groups out there, radical extremist groups out there in America. I'm concerned that some soldiers may think it's okay, it's appropriate for them uh, to be a member of or affiliate themselves with these organizations. It's not. The Army regulations on point, they are 600-20. I'll just tell you this, here's the bottom line. If you're not inclusive in your heart, if you're not respecting your fellow citizens, your fellow soldiers, with a sense of, as I said, acceptance, inclusivity, embracing diversity, then you're probably on the wrong side of law and you're probably on the wrong side of Army regulation. We treat each other with dignity, with a sense of mutual respect, and we don't care what the color of our skin is, what our religion is, where we come from, what our native tongue is, what our gender is, what our sexual preferences are. None of that matters to us as members of this team. We take care of each other and we respect difference. We embrace it. It is what makes us tough. It is what makes us strong. It is what makes us us. Commanders, you have a responsibility under the law. You have a responsibility under Army regulations to make sure you're maintaining good order and discipline in your formations and your units. That means you're holding your soldiers to standard. You're not walking past mistakes. That's a no-go. That is not how we roll. That is not who we are. So if you see it, stop it. If you see it, Hold people accountable. Hold your soldiers accountable. The law supports you. The Uniform Code of Military Justice supports you. And all kinds of other Army procedures are right there. Tools in your toolkit to make sure you're enforcing your Army standard in your organizations. Do it. We have an obligation. We have an opportunity to model for our fellow citizens what right looks like, particularly now. I'm expecting this team, this tribe, to do it. It's a way we recruit. It's a way we retain. It's a way we model what right looks like for all of our citizens across 20 time zones as we lead and continue to develop the most capable, combat-ready, and lethal Federal Reserve Force in the history of the United States of America. Appreciate what you're doing. I'm proud to lead this team. You keep pounding. I'll see you soon.